Yo, what's going on? Cole Legacy Kim here, man. Just appreciate y'all tuning in with me for this video. As y'all can see, the title is What Not to Do as Any Dog Breeder. Now, for me, you know me, I'm the American Bully Breeder, but this goes for any dog breeder out there. So, if you think you want to breed dogs, you're already breeding dogs, you know, this video right here is for you. So, I'm going to give you a few things of what not to do as a dog breeder. So stay tuned. Cole Legacy Kennel is coming to give you information. Again, welcome to Cole Legacy Kennel. Man, I just want to thank y'all for being a participant in this video, watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification. Stay tuned because more videos will definitely be coming soon. But on to what you're here for. Tip one on what not to do as a dog breeder, any breed. Don't start without a plan. If you're going to do this and you want to make this successful, have you a plan? Double check your plan. Go over it. You know what I'm saying? If you've done it before, what did you do wrong in the in that, that time? You know what I'm saying? Always dot your eyes, cross your T's. Don't go in blind because you're gonna spend a lot of money, a lot of time, and it ain't gonna work out. Yeah, you got people that's out here that's just lucky. They're gonna get lucky, they're gonna they gonna hit big, do whatever, and it work out for them. But nine times out of ten, if you see somebody that's being a successful dog breeder, they had a plan. And if you have a plan, stick to it. Do not come into this game with not without having a plan. Because if you don't have a plan, you planning to fail. That's simply put. So yeah, always have a plan. Yeah. So step two. I got my notes that make I don't forget nothing. I tell y'all, you know what I'm saying? I give y'all everything that I have to give y'all. But step two, don't neglect your dogs and duties. Don't just go out there, feed your dogs, leave them alone, or don't go out there and don't feed your dogs. Make sure your dogs get adequate amount of time of playing. You know what I'm saying? Let them stretch their legs, give them some workouts. Just let them let them free for a while and, and do something constructive with them. Let them just gain that, you know what I'm saying, bond with you as a person. You know, because you want them as much as they want you. You know what I'm saying? You want them to be a benefit for you and they looking for somebody to be beneficial too. Dogs are companion animals. They look for companionship. So give them that. Give them the duty and, and don't give them the give them the time and effort and do your duty to portray, you know what I'm saying, a active and care careful individual. Like care for your dogs. Love your dogs. Show them that attention and affection. Because that goes, you know what I'm saying, above every everything. If you don't give your dogs the time, it's not gonna be a, a good good thing to just, you know what I'm saying, tell somebody that, hey, my dog got good temperament. You don't know if your dog got good temperament. You keep them locked up. They're not running, they're not playing, they're not doing that, they're not around kids. Like you gotta do certain things so you can learn your dogs, pay attention to your dogs. Like if you're not around your dogs and something is wrong with your dog and you know he's not if you got an active dog. And your dog is not active. It's just being real mellow and conservative and just chill. Something wrong with your dog. But you wouldn't know that if you're not paying attention to your dog. So pay attention to your dog and know when there's something wrong and show that you care. Because dogs sense the care. They tend to be very, very protective of that person. So do your best to do your duties. Make sure they clean, make sure they fed, make sure they get time and attention. Like, that goes a long way in this dog game. And if you ain't got the time and attention to give these dogs in, a, in the uh, dog game, it ain't for you. 
and that goes to step three step three is how i put it is don't treat your dog breeding as a side hustle dog breeding is not a side hustle y'all i don't know who done told y'all that you can do this part-time it is not a part-time job you gotta sit here and work and work and work put in overtime hours to do what you need to do as a dog breeder you just don't come home and automatically bam you got feed your dog and you're done you got you got puppies you know what i'm saying when you have puppies puppies take all your time and if you got a full-time job you're gonna have some long days like some long days like so you gotta put in that effort and that time to make it where your full-time job is ready to go and grind and get at it. So don't don't look at it as a, a part-time job, a side hustle, a little short gig, quick money. Never look at it as quick money. This is not quick money game. This is not the quick money game. You will fail miserably if you think you about to get some quick money and you know what I'm saying some people they, they make a little quick money and and you can't really duplicate that on a consistent basis so if you're gonna do this dog breeding do it long term care for your dogs do what you need to do and your dogs will do what they need to do for you remember that so that was that step four Step four is this, don't think local. Don't do what you're trying to, you see your, your homeboy doing, your cousin doing, cause he's selling dogs to Jimmy and Ruth and Chris and Nathan all down the street. You know what I'm saying? As a, as a reputable dog breeder, you don't want to sell local. It's good that you do, but as a person in the dog breeding game, I want my dogs to be in every aspect of the world as possible. Like somebody want my dog in Chicago, Florida, California, New York, the UK. That means the world. Like don't think local. Don't limit yourself. Don't put a limit on yourself. Don't give up on trying to reach a bigger goal than you think you won't you won't ever reach. If you limit yourself, you're already handicapping yourself. You're putting yourself at a dis a disadvantage. This is what you're doing. You you you're saying I will never get there. I ain't gonna try. It ain't gonna work out for me. No, that is the wrong mindset to have in this game. There might be some things in, in that you you know what I'm saying. No, hey, I can't do this. But do not put a limit or a cap on your success. Because if you put a cap on your success, you're trying to get here and be done. When you can go above and beyond, man, if you really want to be a dog breeder and you're in the game for the right reasons, and if you want to put out quality and put out to the standard of whatever dog that you have, then that is what you want to put out to the world, not to your local community. Like I say, it's fine to sell to your local community, but you want to put that out to the world. You don't want to put that out to just being, you know, here in, in, in your area. If you can, you know what I'm saying, you want to meet different regions and different goals to different people. Show people that no matter where you're from, I'm in Mississippi. I want to I want to let people know that people in Mississippi can put out great quality dogs. That's why I want to do it. I'm going to put out the quality and not the quantity. Because a lot of people out here putting out, you know what I'm saying, all kind of puppies. But and quality puppies you know what i'm saying you can get you a a a, a dog you know what i'm saying anywhere but is that dog gonna be up to your quality and your standard of what you want to put out that is what you want to put out in this world so with that being said these are my tips that i give for y'all to follow on what not to do now stay tuned because I will be dropping a video of what to do. Like I said, smash that like button, hit that bell notification, like and subscribe. Please do it. 
I promise you, it's appreciated. Just stay tuned to what I got coming. Like I said, I will be trying to put out more videos on behalf of Cold Legacy Kim. Y'all, thank you for watching. Thank you for staying tuned through the whole video. Just know that we're here for you. So, with that being said, Cold Legacy Kennels, out.